Hello, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome night. Whenever you see this message, I pray you are having a blessed and awesome day. If you are new to the channel, my name is Latoya T. Wolford. I am here just to encourage you. I speak whatever God puts on my heart. Whatever he put on my heart for myself, I share with you all. Because nine times out of ten, it is for you all also. So what I want to talk about tonight is they are watching you. This is all I've been hearing in my spirit. Half of the day, they are watching you. And I just want you all to know they are watching you. And the reason why I say this is because whatever you are doing in your life people are watching you it's good you know they want to know what is going on with you what is god doing with you especially if you came from the bottom and you rising up to the top you know people are wondering you know sometimes it could be for the good and it can also be for the bad you know people like to watch you just to see what you are doing to see what they can what they can steal or to see if you are true to what you are saying out your mouth if it is true if there really is a god who loves you who loves them they are watching you so you must be careful do not let do not let it get to you because people are watching you because people watch you every day no matter what someone is always watching they watch your style they watch the way you talk the way you walk the way you live your life and etc they just watch you it does not matter you could be on your job you could be walking in the mall it does not matter someone is always watching but I have a scripture that I want to share with you all. And this is in Colossians 4, 5 through 6. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside. Redeeming the time, yet your speech always, I'm sorry, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other so even though you might feel that people are watching you watching what you're doing you know sometimes it be envy it be jealousy people want to make sure you are not doing better than what they are doing it's okay when you you are right but when you when you get up there and you doing better than them then it's a problem but in this scripture it is saying walk in wisdom we are supposed to walk in wisdom no matter what a person might say, no matter what a person may do. You just make sure you use wisdom with everything. Remember that we are the example. We are showing them how they should live a righteous life. So we don't fall into the traps of what they are doing. Whatever they say to you, negative of it does not matter. You don't fall into that trap you ignore it and just keep on moving keep on pushing because god says our words should be seasoned with salt i have another scripture this is in second timothy 2 verses 23 through 26 but avoid foolish and ignorant disputes knowing that they generate strife Meaning that we don't have no time to argue with anyone. We already know what God has told us to do. And if you don't know, you are on this channel. You will soon to find out. You get in a relationship with God. He is going to let you know. And knowing that they generate strife and a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all able to teach patient in humility so we have to teach them how a true righteous person a child of god is supposed to act 
We do not stoop down to their, their level, but we rise above their level. And when they see what we do, they will join in. Believe me, they will join in. You will shut them right up. Correcting those who are in opposition in God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. So when people act like this, we already know they are not living in the sight of God. They are living by man. They are living by this world. They are following the traps of the devil, the traps of the enemy. But when you have a person who sees you, and they could look up to you and, and watch what you are doing, they either going to change from it or they just going to get worse with it. But that is not up to us. That is up to God. We let God deal with that. We are supposed to just act like a child of God and do not let no one get to you because remember, someone is watching you. Someone is always watching you. They are watching. Your enemies are watching. People who said that you weren't going to mount out to nothing, you weren't going to make it. People who are just waiting on your downfall that thought you would be down, down right now is watching. But you are living it up. You are living at your highest potential. And they are, they are watching. They is going to keep watching. And it's either for the good, like I said, or for the bad. But don't worry about that because with God, no one can stop nothing. No matter what no one say, no matter what no one may try to do, just ignore it at all times and let them keep watching you shine. Let them keep watching you shine. And I just wanted to get that out to you all tonight because God keeps saying they are watching you. It's been in my spirit. They are watching you. So just know somebody is watching because God would have never put it in my spirit. He would have never showed me things. So now I know and I want you all to know too. And I pray that you all take this message and meditate on it and look up these scriptures. And I will see you all in the next video. I'm going to pray with you all. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you cover. Well, I know that you are covering us all in Jesus' name right now. So I pray that whoever is listening to this message under the sound of my voice, that they are at peace and that they have gotten great understanding out of this word. And if they have not, that they will seek your face, Father God. They will talk to you and figure out more better understanding of this word, that they will get wisdom. They will be able to discern the times, to discern the people that are in their circle, Father God, in Jesus' name. So I thank you, Father God, for this word. I thank you for blessing us with this word. I thank you, Father God, for sharing this word with us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Blessing to you all. Catch you all in the next video.